So again, we just encourage the men to keep coming. And those that's bouncing out, we're going to keep them lifted up in prayer. Yes. Another thing that was very valuable came out that Bishop said. And I'm 59 years old, but I never, never heard this before. When the demons approach you, which they approach us every day, right? right. In some type of way. Right. Bishop said, you can't talk to a demon. Right. And I'm like, wow. Right. So all these years I just spent trying to talk and right. explain and say this, you cannot talk to a demon. It made so much sense. Right. So all we could do is pray for that demon. Right. And keep going, you will save yourself time, energy, yeah. it makes so much sense. So when that comes, just pray for that demon. Do not waste your energy and your time. Bind the demon out. That's right. That's what he said. Cast him out. Bind him or cast him out. And it makes Right. Bind him means to stop him. Because sometimes you have to stop him. Then cast them out. So again, men, keep coming. Boys to men, men to men. Thank you. Welcome to Prophet Gabriel. children might be dismissed. Great job, Deacon. Deacon Fraser's come a long ways also. Long ways. And if you've been here any length of time, then you know that. You can see it. The deal is with, you know, the evidence the evidence of the spirit. See, the spirit things you can't you can't talk. Spirit things you have to live. And that doesn't mean that you're perfect and you don't sin. It means that what are you chasing after? Are you chasing after the spirit of God? Is in your heart do you want to do the will of God? That doesn't that doesn't be we Christians have this thing to where if you're up here or you you have a title then. You have no room for sin. It's okay if you sin if you're not up here. But if you're up here, you can have no sin. But that's not, that's not reality. What it is, is, is what's in your heart. Are you chasing after the things of the Spirit? Are you chasing after the things of God? Is that what you want in your heart? And if that is in your heart, then it will be evident. There will be fruit of that. There will be there will be out there will be outcomes of that. There will be manifestations of that. So, <clears throat> um, first things first is when what uh, Deacon Fraser talked about yesterday is, is my father repented to us the men. He started. It starts with the leaders. It starts with the leader. He's the father of this house. Yeah. And he's not just my father. He's all of our fathers. If you're submitted to this ministry, then he's your father also. Yeah. And a father leads by example. Yeah. A father is not perfect. But a father, if he's wrong, he'll repent and make it right. Yeah. That's what makes a father a father. If you, it doesn't matter that you messed up. It matters do you clean up the mess. And as far as I've been alive, as far as I can remember, any time my father's ever messed up or any time he's ever had an act of the flesh or a, a verbal um, outburst of the flesh, which every single person has, so it's not like it's just my dad, but when he has... He always repents. Yes. He's always repented. I never ever remember my father not messing up and not repenting ever from the time I was born. So he demonstrated that to us, the men, yesterday. And I had to repent and I repented to the men and I repent to the church for um, my actions on Thursday night. I've been brought up in the house of God, and the house of God means everything to me. Amen. And to maintain order and honor and respect, that's all I know. Yeah. And we live in a world where people don't 
they don't know about that. Right. They think that you just come to church and it's just, oh, we're just meeting, we're just gathering, right. not understanding that when you come to this place where we gather, it doesn't matter the location, right. when right. we gather, we're gathering to have the presence of God yeah. come yeah. to us. That's, That's what we want. Yeah. We want the highest demonstration of the presence of God that we can obtain Amen. without falling out and dying. Yeah. Right. But we want, the, we want the fullness of God. Yeah. So for me, my job is, is to maintain protection and maintain order and maintain that honor in the house of God. Yeah. Amen. People get upset, people get in their flesh because they don't have the understanding of when you come to this place, when you come to church, when you come to the house of God, you have to really view it as God is here. Amen. Because he is. Amen. And we have to do the things to keep him here. Right. We have to do the things to make sure that he stays. Yeah. And make sure that when he comes, we don't have a flesh act to make him leave. Right. So that means everything to me. Yeah. And there's a situation that happened that I could have handled even more better than I did. But I didn't. So those that don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. That's right. But those that do know what I'm talking about, I repent. And I ask for forgiveness for my actions. And um, the reasoning why is not to be malicious or not to be in my flesh, but exactly what I said. I grew up watching a lot of times when my father would be gone and my, it was my mother and there was a lot of things that took place, manifest, manifestations that took place. And I was a child and nothing was done about it. Well, I'm a man now. And those things are not going to happen that's while right. I'm here on my watch. On. So that's, you know, I'm a soldier and I'm an armor bearer and I'm a protector of the house of God. Right. And that's what I am. So that took place. I repented to the men yesterday. And, um, you know, that's what the meeting was about. My father ministered and he, he laced it to where... It can get to that place to where there was about seven or eight men that repented. Yes. Men yeah. just started repenting for different things. Right. Yeah. And, were, and that's 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 what it is to be a man. Right. Yeah. That's what it is to be a man. Yeah. If you can't repent, if you can't say you're sorry, you're not a man. It doesn't right. matter your age. Yeah. No matter how much money you have, right. no matter what your status is in life, doesn't matter how hard you think you are, or how uh, or dominant, or how prestigious, it doesn't matter. Right. If you can't repent and say you're sorry, you're not a man. Right. 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 That's my, my estimation. That's right. So my father talked about yesterday, said until we incorporate the Bible in our lives, we're playing church. Right. <laughs> That's right. the first thing he said, wow. right out of the gates. Yeah. Until we incorporate what's in here in our lives, we're just playing. Right. That means if you're just sitting there, just waiting to be fed, waiting to be fed, because that's the mentality of the church. Come to church, sit there, and just receive great messages, and then go out and do nothing. That's the mentality of the church. And I'm not saying this place. When I say the church, I'm talking about the church of the Lord, worldwide. The majority of the mentality is to sit down on Sundays and Wednesdays or whatever the midday week is, sit down and receive the greatest message you can, yes. and then say hallelujah, amen, that was powerful, and leave and do nothing. Right. Right. Not realizing that you to be equipped when you come to church is to get equipped right. to sharpen your weapons, to sharpen your tools, yes. so when you go out there, you know what to do. When you go out there, you know how to bind the demons up. When you go out there, you know when it is the timing for you to share your testimony. When you go out there, you know how to unlock people that are hurting and need God. When you go out there, it's you're prepared for warfare because guess what? Whether you realize it or not, you're in a war every day. Every single day, there's warfare going on. You may have an awareness of it. You may have an idea about it. You may be fully engaged in it and know that you're fighting in it. It just depends on where your walk is. Yeah. But nevertheless, the war between the light and the dark is raging every single day. Yeah. And see, that's so beautiful with our kids because it made me remind me of, you know, Miss Serena was my Sunday school teacher and Kevin. And that just shows you their age now. <laughs> But if you look at them, you can't tell. Yeah. You never believe that they were my teachers while I was 
Sunday school. So a lot of my, not only my parents, but there are other people that I have to honor, Kevin. I have to honor Miss Serena because they had roles to play in my upbringing. They had roles to play in the righteous seeds being the positive of the meeting. They helped my parents. They've been with my parents. They've stood with this ministry. And they're doing it with how many generations is that? How many generations we people talk about I'm tired of this or I've been doing this for so long or I'm the only one. You don't you don't understand. When you when you in ministry, it's till you die. Whatever you whatever God has called you to do, you to do that until you go to heaven. And once you go to heaven, you're gonna still be doing it when you get to heaven. Then we don't understand that. When people that get tired or they say, Oh, praise and worship is too long, you 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 do not want to go to heaven. You don't want to go to heaven. Because in heaven, all you're going to be doing is praise and worshiping God. So there are people that come late because they want to miss the 